Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be my review of Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I've gotta say I was really looking forward to this movie, like all of the trailers made this thing look really really epic. Simu Liu looked like he was going to absolutely crush this role and another cool fact is he actually went to the same university that I did, so we've got a little bit of a personal connection you know. And right off the bat I gotta say I really did like this movie, and I also gotta say this is going to be a spoiler for your review so if you guys haven't seen the movie yet don't worry I'm not gonna drop any spoilers in this review it's just gonna be my honest thoughts about the movie so Shang-Chi is directed by Destin Daniel Cretton I'm not super familiar with his work but I gotta say he did a really good job with this movie mainly because he really understood the characters one of the best parts about this movie is just how like down to earth it is like we really get to just focus with Shang-Chi because his story is epic like his dad is the leader of the Ten Rings he's this super Super evil bad dude and Shang-Chi essentially runs away and his dad is like nope you're coming back and that's kind of like the whole plot for the movie it's really like Shang-Chi doesn't want to follow in his dad's footsteps and his dad wants him to join him and it's really just this epic Marvel family feud and I gotta say all of the actors in this movie did a really good job Simu Liu as Shang-Chi was awesome like he was just this really charismatic nice down-to-earth guy who could be funny and really serious and I haven't even watched Simu Liu in anything ever before so this was like my first interpretation of him and his acting and I gotta say I was pleasantly surprised like I didn't know if he was gonna be a, just a fantastic actor right off the bat I don't really know how he's performed in other projects but I gotta say in Shang-Chi he did great Aquafina played his best friend Katie and I was a little bit worried in the trailers I was like she's gonna be this really obnoxious weird character that not a lot of people are gonna like but she was also very good like the writing in the script here gave her funny moments moments of course, but it wasn't enough to be like over the top and annoying. And I like that they didn't have a romance because I find a lot of movies, you know, they have this best friend character and then at the end of the movie it's like, oh, love conquers all, you know, they get together happily ever after. And I'm glad to say that they are just friends. Like finally, you know, just a guy and a girl, they're just buddies. Now that could always change in like Shang-Chi 2 or 3 or something, but I hope it doesn't. But yeah, Aquafina playing Katie in this movie was a really interesting character to follow. Then of course we have the famous Tony Leung playing the Mandarin and this is like the Mandarin not the Mandarin we saw in Iron Man 3 this is the badass terrorist Mandarin now one thing that I thought when I was looking at the trailers was I was thinking that Marvel was just going to make this a stereotypical bad guy like yes he was going to be related to Shang-Chi but I thought he was just gonna be like you know this guy is evil Shang-Chi's just gotta take him down that's it and I gotta say I was pleasantly surprised like we can really sympathize with this character and he's not just this big bad with 10 rings flying around beating people up and being evil he's actually got a really deep story rooted in his villainy and that's what makes us as the audience like villains for example look at Thanos like a lot of people could sympathize with his plan of you know erasing half of the universe and that's part of the reason why he was such a good villain because we could really sympathize with his plan now I wouldn't say the Mandarin's plan is what got me to sympathize with him it's more family related but I gotta say wow I was not expecting that I really really thought this was just going to be a bad guy, Shang-Chi was just going to go take him down the end. Way, way deeper than that, and Tony Leung did a great job acting as the Mandarin. He was really menacing and then charming, and we haven't really seen a lot of MCU characters act like that, so he was really interesting in the movie. But anyways, let's move on to some other things that I liked in this movie, like the action scenes, because this is a totally different type of fighting style than we're used to seeing in the MCU. This is martial arts, and we have never really seen this in the MCU before before like it's really just like Jackie Chan style fighting which was a nice breath of fresh air because it is something new that we can see in the MCU and I think this is like the 25th movie so changing up the fighting styles and everything is going to make this movie stand out and I definitely think they accomplished that because none of the fighting in this movie I could really compare to other movies like I guess Captain America's fighting style is like somewhat similar but not even like close at the same time the type of martial arts that Shang-Chi and the other characters in this movie did was really traditional and like I just said it is totally different than anything we've seen before which made it really fun to watch. The Jackie Chan style of fighting is just awesome like using the environment to fight the enemies and everything is just a really fun way of making those fight scenes. Another thing that I liked about it of course was the story and a lot of people have been saying in their reviews that the trailers haven't been doing the movie justice like there's a lot of stuff that isn't in the trailers that is actually in the movie and the movie almost feels like an entirely different thing when you watch the 
the trailer and then compare it to the movie. Like if you watch the trailer, it really just looks like Shang-Chi is going to go fight his dad and that's really it. But there is way more that happens in this movie and I'm almost glad that they didn't show any of that in the trailer because then I could go into the movie and be surprised. I just hate when trailers show a ton of footage in it and you can almost like put all the pieces together and find out exactly what's going to happen in the movie and luckily Shang-Chi didn't do that. The story really revolves around the topic of family and this stuff gets deep like it's not just you know father son feud that's it. This movie gets real deep like it brings in a ton of different family members. Of course I'm not going to spoil anything but I gotta say the whole theme of family in this movie was very very strong and especially with an Asian culture like family is just a really really important thing and they definitely carried those values over to the Shang-Chi movie. Okay now let's talk about some of the things that I didn't like in this movie. So the first thing that I didn't really like was the finale like it was really really big and it was a it was definitely a spectacle to watch in IMAX but there was a lot going on and I like when they kind of focus on one particular thing like there was almost like two or three different things happening at the same time and by shifting your focus to multiple different areas within a short amount of time really just takes the suspense out of the movie in my opinion because you're focusing on something and something incredible is happening and then the camera just goes over to something else and now you're thinking about that then it goes back and it's just a little bit much I would rather them focus on like one thing now that could just be like a personal preference but that's my opinion on the whole thing and by no means is this me saying I hate the last act of the movie because that's definitely not the case I just think it could have been a little bit better but it was really really fun to watch and one other thing that I didn't really like about this movie it's gonna sound kind of weird but it has to do with the sounds of when characters are being like thrown into a wall or falling onto the ground or something I don't even know exactly what you would call that like the audio for combat I don't even know I'm just making up sentences and stuff right now but like there were some instances where characters would be like punched into the air or like they get thrown into a wall or something and it doesn't really feel that impactful now I don't know if that was from like the sound team or something but like you know when someone gets flown up into the air and just slams onto the ground like you want to feel that impact especially when you're watching a movie in IMAX and there was a couple scenes where like someone would just fly onto the ground and you're expecting this big loud sound and it just felt like they fell onto a gym mat or something which is probably what happened because everything is like green screen now at Marvel Studios but that's a really nitpicky thing to say so I wouldn't even count that as like a real negative most people aren't thinking about like the actual production of the movie and how everything was shot and all of the behind the scenes most people are just going to watch the movie and they're not even going to notice the sounds from the impact of a character but yeah realistically the negatives I had with this movie weren't even that big like yeah they could have cleaned up the last act a little bit and worked a little bit better on the audio but that's really it like the story was solid the acting was solid the action was amazing the VFX was awesome as well and there was a ton of easter eggs in this movie as well which if you're a big Marvel fan that's definitely something that you're looking for when you're watching these types of movies and I can't wait for new rock stars to post their breakdown of the movie because there is a lot of easter eggs in this thing and we did get two post credit scenes I definitely thought they were going to be bigger than what they actually were everyone was saying like oh this is going to be a crazy post credit scene like top two MCU post credit scenes of all time and I built up this grand idea in my mind of something just absolutely bonkers and it definitely didn't happen so I felt kind of let down but the post credit scene was still really good and it's definitely a world building post credit scene and I am very interested to see where those scenes lead but yeah Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was a very solid movie it's one of my favorite Marvel solo movies of all time I would say this is definitely in the top three I would say Iron Man 1, Captain America the Winter Soldier and Shang-Chi are probably my top three for Marvel solo films so guys Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was definitely a really great movie and I would personally rate it as an A. There's not much that I would change about it. It was just a really enjoyable solo Marvel movie and I definitely recommend to watch it in IMAX if your theater offers that. Shang-Chi at some points almost felt like an Avengers level movie. It was really weird and then it would just kind of bring you back into like a solo movie vibe. That's how big this movie was. Like there was a lot of crazy stuff happening which is a good thing don't get me wrong like I really really enjoyed that like having the stakes of an Avengers type movie got me even more interested into the whole story here but anyways that's my review for the movie I really really liked it I will definitely be picking it up with the 4k steelbook leave a comment down below of what you guys thought about the movie if you've seen it and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe lots of videos just like this one will be uploaded weekly and I can't wait to see you guys again but for
for now. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.